you all welcome back welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you guys um some things that i'm stockpiling this week i just did a stockpile haul this is the rest of it as well um i went to walmart and then i had a delivery so this is the rest of the stuff guys if you're new here please go ahead and consider subscribing and if you've been here before thank you thank you for coming back we're gonna jump right into this haul prices will be listed in the description box or a pinned comment down below so make sure that you guys um look for that if you're interested to see what i paid for my stockpile items um everything on this table is for my stockpile um yeah that's pretty much it i wanted to say that first <laughs> that's it so let's let's let me show y'all what, what i got come on let's go all right so first thing, first thing i'm gonna start with the drinks over here as you guys know when i am stockpiling i'm stockpiling drinks too because when winter time come no one wants to be out there traveling as well it's good to have it put back already um so i have another three gallons of water here poland spring they didn't have the great value so they substituted and then we have six of these apple juices most of the time when i'm getting the delivery you guys will always see these apple juices because they're only two dollars and 14 cents each until they go up and i can find a better bargain um we also have a cranberry juice. One thing that I've been bypassing is cranberry juice. Listen, I got to start stockpiling this cranberry juice up. I'm not too sure how long it really stayed good for um, before it started getting like cloudy and stuff like that. But as far as the best buy, these dates really don't mean nothing. It just says best buy. It, things usually stay good pretty much past the best buy um, date, depending on the item. Not like milk and you know bread and all of that stuff stuff that you can easily store away shelf stable items then over here we have chicken broth so i have two cans of chicken broth and also two boxes of chicken broth so these are like my winter favorites that i love to keep on here um over here we have scallop potatoes i thought this would be something nice to have in the stockpile as well um you know just to have it put to the back i did want to see because i never bought the great value brand if it comes packaged or it's just in a box oh so it's already packaged all right so i have two boxes of those and then we have pasta 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 what is your stockpile without pasta, right? So we have two boxes of the panini, and then we have four boxes of the elbow. I think elbow pasta is like the most uh, common pasta. Elbow and spaghetti sticks. Um, I don't know. You guys stockpiling pasta and rice and stuff like that. Then over here we have soy sauce. So I have a all-purpose soy sauce seasoning I, I never paid attention to it saying all-purpose so we have two of those here then we have the low sodium soy sauce we have two of those so all together we have four soy sauces that we are stockpiling if you guys are interested in a best buy this is the best buy 2024 so i just put those right to the back just like that i don't have to worry about putting it in nothing else because it's already in the container like this barbecue sauce another thing that you guys are going to see fall short on the shelves is barbecue sauce why because it has an ingredient i believe which is tomato yes it's right there tomato tomato as you guys know there is a tomato shortage so if you have not stocked up on your tomato products um start stocking up on that things like barbecue sauce a lot of people would bypass because they don't know like barbecue sauce contains tomato products y'all so if the tomato product products fall short um guess what if tomatoes fall short everything that contains tomatoes would start to look empty or thin on the shelf and also go up in price as well um so yes one thing i can tell you guys i usually buy the great value pasta sauce I'm sure you guys seen that in my haul before. But guess what? That thing was 88 cent. It done jumped in price finally. It's a dollar forty-eight. And I can get pasta sauce for a dollar on sale at ShopRite. I don't think I'm gonna pay a dollar forty-eight until all the other prices go up as far as with the pasta sauce. Like if I can't get it for that dollar on sale, 
And if I see it's like $2 overall, then I'll go ahead and spend a $1.48 on a great value pasta sauce. But right now, I'm going to have to leave that great value pasta sauce where it's at because it did jump up to $1.48. Um, yes, ketchup. So we have six things of ketchup here. Guys, this is the great value ketchup, 38 ounces. We have six of them. And these are all for the stockpile. So I showed you guys the chicken broth already. Then we have some non-stick spray. They didn't have what I wanted, so these were the substitutions. So canola oil and butter flavored non-stick spray. We don't have too many canned goods this time around, but we have some. So we have two things of tea here of the Limpton 100 pack tea. And then we have the Limpton Green Tea Orange Passion Fruit Jasmine. I usually store the tea bags in mason jars just so it can keep its freshness for a while. Um, and that's it. Then we have these, which is the off brand of um, SpaghettiOs. So I have four things of that. I think these are like 60 something cents. Four cans of that. We still have some from like last winter. We actually still have some from last winter, so I didn't get too much of that. And then for the Bushes Baked Vegetarian Beans, I have seven of those. And then I have a thing of pickles right there. Um, that's the great value brand. Then we have one thing of mayo because holiday season. I'm starting to see mayo fall short on the shelves, but I usually buy Hellman's. This is my first time actually picking up a great value mayonnaise. Never have I tried the great value mayonnaise before, though. Um... But if you guys tried the Great Value Mayonnaise, let me know, because I have it. So this is everything that I'm stockpiling. I also have this 18-pound bag of rice here, jasmine rice, which I saw at Walmart, and it was like $14. So I'm going to go ahead and put that away as well. I got some water jars, some juice bottles over there. I'm going to go ahead and store that away as well. It's recommended that you freeze your rice first to get any bugs out. Um, definitely up to you. I've never had no problems with, um, bugs in my rice and I don't always freeze it. So it's definitely your choice. If you know you are in an area with a little, you know, with the bugs going to hatch, if you're going to keep it like in a moist place or something like that, you might want to go ahead and freeze your rice first. This is it for the stockpile, y'all. This is it. Everything that I showed you today would be for the stock. Hell, yes, it would. I did personally. Because I get sidetracked when I'm in the store. I get sidetracked when I'm, on, when I'm in the store. So when I'm online, I feel like it's more controlled. And I can get mainly my stockpile items. So I'd rather just get that stuff delivered. Um, yes. So that's pretty much it. If you guys are still stocking up, go ahead and stock up. Gas prices are rising. They're rising as well. So use them delivery services if you have them. Like if you're subscribed to Walmart Plus, Amazon Fresh and stuff like that, definitely use it. Utilize it with these gas prices rising back up. Hey, why not? So that's pretty much it. Thank you for tuning in to Shauna's Mother Love and Family. And I was glad to share this haul with you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Let me know if you guys are still stocking up, like I said. And what are your favorites to stock up on in the wintertime? And are you guys stocking up for the wintertime? Like, do you like to stock up before that snowfall if you do get snow in your area? Or before the cold breaks, like, for good? Like, before them temperatures really drop, do you like to stock up beforehand? Like, I know I do. I like to have my little own separate things that I know I'm going to be using throughout the winter. I love to have that already in the house. Um, yes, so that's pretty much it. Thank you, thank you all for tuning in. Like I said, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Drop your favorite emoji in the comments so I know that you are here. And like I said, if you're new here, please go ahead and consider subscribing. You can go ahead and press that bell right beside the subscribe button so you are notified when I do upload. I upload maybe about once a week or so on this channel. Uh, we're getting better. We have some family things going um, cooking videos, hauls, we're not just about stocking up, y'all, this is a family channel as well, most of the time you would see these hauls, because I want to give people ideas of things to stock up on, maybe you'll grab a, something like this, and something like this, and 
something like this, you know, from this particular grocery haul. And I was glad to help you out and convince you to go ahead and get those items your next shopping trip. So this is Shauna and I'm officially tuning out. Peace, love and blessings to all of you.